All right, what's up, y'all, and welcome to what I think is the 18th edition of Teaching Tuesday. Gonna go, I uh, have to go back and check the logs on that one, but um, yes, we are steadily progressing towards number 20. Um, but yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Today, uh, we are going to go over uh, some great licks, I think five great licks to play over minor chords. Last week we did major chords, so um, appropriately uh, and as promised, we're gonna do minor. So I'm just gonna press, it, press uh, preface this by saying we're gonna do um, this in the key of B flat, mostly in this kind of like sixth fret position. And um, it's gonna be more over the kind of like minor six sound or the minor uh, major seven sound, sort of like a melodic minor sound. I think of it as kind of a tonic minor. So if you're like in a minor key, and I've touched, I touched on this before, um, as opposed to like a two chord sound. Um, but yeah, that being said, without any further ado, here's lick number one. All right, so let's break that down. We have um, kind of like a minor major seven arpeggio, but starting on the major seven down here. And then we're gonna do the arpeggio. And then we're gonna kind of trill up to the ninth. And then approach the root. So that means we're gonna go back to the seventh, to the root, and then the sixth, so. Um, this next one is a bit longer. Uh, here's the lick. A little slower. Okay, I think I got that from part of Dexter Gordon's solo on Cheesecake, so if you don't know that one, definitely check it out. Um, we're just actually going straight up the melodic minor scale, starting on the fifth. And then this is also starting on the and of one. So that's straight up the scale. Then we're gonna go to the flat fifth here, natural fifth, sharp fifth, back down to the natural, uh, to the flat fifth, to the natural. It's kind of like a little enclosure or approach, however you wanna think of that. So, and then once we get to the fifth, we're gonna just do an arpeggio down. Right, okay, so. All right, um, next is this little ditty. So this is a little different from the other licks and that doesn't really outline the chord as much, um, but it kind of does a really cool thing, which is, um, well, we've talked about this kind of like bebop minor sound or bebop major is kind of this thing where you have a lot of chromaticism between the fifth and the root. Um, so we're kind of just doing, we're kind of like emphasizing all those cool little chromatic notes that we can use. Um, and it kind of comes from, uh, I mean, maybe Donnelly. Something like that, or um, Dizzy Gillespie does something similar to it in Things to Come. Um, so yeah, that's a really cool one. And you can do all sorts of variations with that. Um, okay, then here's two more. This one's, I'm actually gonna start a little bit lower. So I'm gonna start back here. And it's gonna start on the and of one. So we're, it's gonna sound like this. So it's actually a very, it's a symmetrical line. So I'm doing one lick down here and then I'm doing it up an octave. So um, starting on the fifth and then root, and then just right up the scale. And then same thing, fifth, and then get to the root, right up the scale to one, one, two, three. So simple, but it actually just sounds really good, especially with our this articulation and phrasing and uh, position wise. Something like that can really just kind of uh, feel really nicely if you play it in the right way in a tune. Um, okay, the next one is kind of similar actually. Sounds like this. A little slower. This is really simple. So it's actually just an arpeggio starting from the root and ending at the root, but we're going to put a chromatic approach below every note. So. 
and it's important that we play it in the right rhythm too. Actually, all of these are, but especially this one, um, because it's important in bebop that the right notes line up in the right beats, and so that's you know the 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 uh, chord tones are gonna want to land on the downbeat. So one. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Those are five great minor licks to use. Um, as always, feel free to vary them. Or not feel free, but definitely I would encourage you to vary them, play them in different positions, play them in different keys, vary the melodic parts of them, harmonic even. Um, and yeah, otherwise, thanks for tuning into another Teaching Tuesday, and I will see you all again next week.